Lee North. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings. All that and more coming up next. by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. Today, it's a black and white matchup in the NFC between the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings. And I welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People have to be
from Minnesota. And a fair catch, single four, and taken at about the 18-yard line. The Vikings offense coming out for the first time, and in his fifth season leading this crew, coming off his third career Pro Bowl nod, Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is back for his fifth year with Minnesota starter. Time for the longest stick is to go the team has had a quarterback since. Get this, Fran Tarkenton in the late 1970s. He's been excellent during that time, making a second Pro Bowl last season after 4,200 yards and 33 touchdowns through the air. The Vikings, though, still hovering right around 500 at the eight-win mark, having to see him with a talented roster back to the postseason. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. First the field on three, and it's second down. Nice job there. First and that is going to be a fun battle for this game. Washington trying to take away that area of the field. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And he'll be marked down at the 26 for the game of seven. But this play sequence was really kind of going for the first. Incomplete pass at first and ten. Nice run on second and ten. I was expecting him to throw the ball back. Now if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 38 line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be in the The third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So first and ten now from the 30. To throw is Cousins. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Smith. So the completion go for seven there as we get in second down. This is great to stay in the middle of the second. He's a Let him play the middle. Find him on the defense. And give your athlete. Yes, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Off the play fake, Cousins. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Right time he reads man coverage. I think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He tested a little bit, but that time it worked to the challenge. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Cousins the thrower. And he's got his tight end, that's Smith. Vikings first down. It's already marked down a yard or two past the marker for the beginning of six. Well, they kept it simple there, CD. Only needing the short game to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with the deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all. But they're checking the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. First down. Here's the run with Cook. A good burst there gets it seven to midfield. And that's right here, right up in the top of the big phone call. Well, you want to establish a guy that's got a clearance like this early because it'll pay dividends as the game progresses. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They run the counter with Cook, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line, he provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. 
working out of the gun. Cousins. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And this is going to be holding in the first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 42.
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive. First and ten. Tackle made there by Jordan Gibbs. No doubt about it. Really did his job there with the defense now allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. They did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he's brought down at the 24. defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on the third down. Throwing now is Rodgers. some 
a second and a yard. Now Cousins. Pass caught by the running back, Dalvin Cook. And the Vikings are in. First and goal is going to be taken down at the same yard. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out the backfield any way they can. That time they picked up the first down, so now on defense, you assign a man to him and try to cover him before he gets going. Halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. That's good power from the back. First and goal. A lot of teams will yard from there. But that's a nice shot to jump a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. Play action now. Cousins. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Cousins now. Because for a tight end of 
both sides. Difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. That's tie one for the Jones. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield with the 46 yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the 46 yard line. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. On third down, here's Jones. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 43. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him. He missed it. And it's second down. He took speed up there. He has to work with him. The defense has other ideas. They're trying to mount a small stand. And this drive reaches the end zone. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Rodgers going to throw. He's going to let this go. Back in the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the low the way out there, but it'll be third down. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full ten yards here. Here's Rodgers. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 18. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves. But this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Up the middle, Jones. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards to the last second and 12. There was one play there defensively, two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to match all that size and beef. They think it let a tackle through, but that's exactly what happened. The loss resulted. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And this 
offense on third down today. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Escaping the pressure right. Nothing open downfield. So that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. remain on 
second down. Cousins to throw. Flushed out running. And it's complete to Cook. Touchdown, Patriots.
So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. And this is going to be Packer football. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, within the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. to the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. It's incomplete, took a shot, couldn't get out. The defense too, it's good defense and bats on the field, couldn't get out essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. To throw, it's Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First up though, a look at the next gen stats for the Packers in that first half. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Vikings with a first 
first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught on the right side at Smith. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And they'll be left with second and a couple. When you execute a drag or cross your route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Play fake. Cousins. He's going to get this one down to Cook. And he'll bring it up here right at the 30 yard line. Nine yards to pick up. And it's a first down. That's what he has success throughout this contest. Getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Cousins. Right back to Cook for another completion. And he has a good
And able to get this out to the 24. Now this offense comes back out over the field. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. start on the ground here on first down. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the three to the 31. Now Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should always be quick fields for the all reds right now. And bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. The last run got six, now second and four. We got that two card offense. Cousins now.
fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. They'll run for it with Cook. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. Well, I don't gain that time, and now it's third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal for the two and the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. If you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. So with a fourth and goal looming, we hit the end of three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's the Vikings in possession of the football and the lead. They'll be looking to add to that total as we begin quarter number four. And we'll begin it with a field goal try here. Less than an extra point attempt here. This is an 18-yarder. The kick by Joseph is good. Pays him a big time. That winds up going for 31. This 
who have made the West Coast offense a staple around the NFL in the 80s and 90s. You don't have to push the ball deep downfield to come up with big plays, and there's an example of that right there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Rodgers again now. Over the middle complete. It's Cobb. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand the field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He's given big credit for his coverage right there. Because when he saw the rock go deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Here's Rodgers to throw. And Lazard's got it again. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And a two-score game, obviously. Every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get the third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Rodgers to throw once more. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And Aaron Rodgers carries the mail himself into the end zone. Now, we know he's not running as much as he used to. But he still has plenty of mobility to get outside the pocket and scare teams. A lot of them are still playing him and throw the ball downfield. But when he decides to take off, he's still dangerous. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth seven.
and if you have the ball, they can't score. First down, here's the run with Cook. Oh, an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. The clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tell those mastodons you have on front and say, guys, let's keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines. And let's close this one out. Cousins now to throw on first down. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he'll take it down here just shot in the first Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. Yeah, a lot of people have called him a gutsy type of player. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Play fake. Cousins. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Preston Smith able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. So at that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless really in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, oh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And they'll just get rid of it. I see the surprise in your face there, Parker. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Right, so the field goal unit is on the field. As this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is good. He got fouled with a good ball, but it has its goal. 56 yards out. And that one still there. Even for him. So that's an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. As the both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two score game. Still lots of time left to go. That was their goal to start the drive. Get three points. Make it a two score game. And they were able to get it done. Joseph now to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Caught by Cole. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try to get the ball back again. an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup.
Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Pressure coming from the Vikings. And they get their flag in the back. Let's get some red tires. He comes down for a short loss. I thought that at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play. Probably counting in his head. One, two, and they ran. Challenger Brown game. Challenger 
offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block, don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. Second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They'll try and wind down some clock with Cook. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Here's Cousins. To the right side, a complete to Jefferson. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. Send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Fair catch called for a main right at the 25 yard line. So now Rodgers in the pack, down by a field goal, less than 90 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Yeah. 